Moving to Virginia Beach? Needing help activating or transferring utilities into your name? Who do you turn to? When? How? I bet you'd also like some tips for this process so you don't look like this guy saving everything to the last minute. Look at him. <laughs> I gotta find some way to make this topic interesting. My name is Sam Santalone and I'm a real estate agent in Hampton, Rhodes, Virginia. And today we're talking about Virginia Beach Utilities. How do you transfer ownership? What utilities are options for you? And at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you some tips as to how to handle the transfer uh, when it comes time for you to move into your new house, uh, whether it be a lease or whether it be a purchase. So let's start with power. Power is not that hard. Dominion Power is the place to go. It's the only one you got. There's another name for it, Virginia Electric and Power Company, VEPCO. It's Dominion Power. I'll drop a link down below in the description so you can go down there and set up service. You can do it all online. Now, cable and internet. This one's interesting. For a long time, Cox Cable was the place, just like Dominion Power was for electric, Cox Cable was the place to go for cable. Felt like they were kind of taking advantage of people because it almost was like a monopoly, it felt like. Customer service was not that great and the service wasn't great. I hear people all the time talking about how much they just don't like Cox. Uh, well, then Verizon came into town with Fios. And so Fios is pretty prevalent in Virginia Beach, uh, but you have to check on Verizon's uh, website to see if your address uh, is serviced by Verizon. They don't have access to every area yet. There's still a lot of pockets that don't have uh, Verizon access. Find out first by going onto Verizon's website to see if the house that you're interested in uh, is serviced by Verizon. Otherwise, you've got Dish and Direct TV. Those, those are the other two primary uh, services here uh, for satellite. Direct TV is also owned by AT&T. And so there's a chance now that they might be talking about uh, cutting their dishes completely and making it just all streaming. And if you look up cable and internet online in this area, it might show that uh, Comcast or now Xfinity is carried here. They don't, they're not carried here. Now for TV, you've got Cox, Verizon, and Dish Network and DirecTV. Those are the four primary. With internet, it's mainly Cox and Verizon. And of course, I'll drop all these links below so you can pick and choose which ones you want to research and look into ordering. Now public utilities, uh, that includes water, stormwater, trash pickup, and sewer. Uh, if you're on public utilities, you pay all of those together, uh, and I'll show you the bill up on the screen right now. Uh, if there's a breakdown for each one, and you pay to the city for each of those things. This does not include wastewater treatment, which is HRSD, which I'll talk about in a second. And link below, you can set up an account with the city. Now to treat the sewer system, uh, that is HRSD, Hampton Roads Sanitation. So you're paying them, a, that's a separate bill, that you're paying to HRSD for the treatment of the sewer. And again, drop a link below, you can create an account online and make all your payments online too. Now gas. Uh, gas is fairly common here. There are a lot of people that convert to gas. They like their gas stoves. If you do buy a house that has gas or you want to have gas, uh, you have one company to call. That's Virginia Natural Gas. Now you'll see another company called Columbia. Uh, they service other cities around Virginia Beach, but not Virginia Beach specifically. So if you start researching online, you'll find them. Just know that they don't service Virginia Beach. The gas company to call is Virginia Natural Gas, VNG. Drop a link below, you got everything online. Now propane is not as common, but I will also put some comments below about places that you can contact for propane. If you have a propane tank or you want propane, so you can get a contract with the propane company to come and fill uh, your tank on a regular basis. Now, because we're in Virginia Beach, there are a lot of houses, especially on the outskirts of Virginia Beach in the country, that are on well and septic. Now, of course, in this case, you would not be paying the city for water, you would not be paying uh, them for sewer. But because you have a well and you have a sewer, you might need maintenance and you might have questions about the sewer system or the well system. And I'll drop some links below about different companies that are local that service wells or septic tanks. And you've got security systems. So you've got your ADT, Vivint, Simply Safe. There are plenty others. I'll drop some links about security systems here in the area as well. The public utilities tips. Number one, this is talking about when you're buying a house or moving into a house, always have utilities be activated the day of closing, not the day after. You don't want to assume the seller will keep the utilities on for a longer period of time. Just make sure they're turned on on the day of closing 
you won't have any problems because the last thing you want to do is start moving into your house but then walk in realize you don't have water you don't have electricity or whatever just make sure they're all transferred on the day of and beforehand you need to plan how much time in advance you want to call for your utilities to be activated if you're buying a house do this after your home inspection time period but really between two and three weeks before you close that gives you enough time because some of the companies can't just run out there some of them are on specific schedules and they're often a little bit annoying with those schedules. So do it as soon as you can within reason to make sure that there's enough time for each utility company to activate on, on the date that you want. I was actually on number one and number two. So there's two there. Now number three, when you do schedule service to be transferred or activated, always call first. That's how I recommend you do it because if you're in this area for the first time especially, you might have questions that online might not be able to help answer as quickly or as easily as you would if you called. Now number quattro is actually uh, referring back to the providers that you have now before you move. Call those providers and give them your new address so they can forward all their information to you to the new house because what you don't want is to have a bill that you didn't realize was being charged and you didn't pay it and that turns into late fees, go out of control, just because you just didn't know that there was a bill at all in the first place. Any correspondence that they want to send you, make sure it goes to your new address. And while you're on the phone with them, also ask them for a copy of the final records of the last reading of any meters that you have with those companies. Then have them send those copies to you so you have them to make sure that any other usage that comes after that uh, is not charged to you unnecessarily. With the trash and recycling pickup. Now trash, the trash cans come from the city and they also pick up the trash at the curb. Check with the city to make sure you know which day of the week the trash goes out. Now also should be able to be answered by the previous owner. And if you need bins, also call the city. Hey, you wanna say hello to the camera? Ooh, look at there. Ooh.